What a wonderful encouragement about the attitude of gratitude. You know, uh, today, uh, before we go, we're going we're gonna to pass the baskets around just in a moment so that we can collect these cards. But I want to encourage you, as Pastor Rick said, some people were wondering, well, which card is it? It's not a special, it's a um, different card. It is our connection card. So this is the card he's talking about. If, if that is something that you are ready to do, I, I love that challenge and that commitment to be, to be a person who is going to be committed to, to loving and being thankful to God in those ways in the way that we sing back to him, in the way that we give back to him, and even as we take communion, remembering him and being grateful for him. You know, sometimes when when we hear commitment, it can be overwhelming, maybe scary, because we, we know that we're humans that fail. But the idea of a commitment, especially as we think for the rest of our life when it comes to God, is the idea that this is my desire, and if I mess up, if I miss it, if I forget it, I'm gonna get back up on that journey and walk down that path because it's what I believe. I'm so thankful for all of you. I've seen so many of you walk through difficult times. I've, I've seen how you have chosen, and I've seen so many men and women of faith who have said, it's not because I feel great right now or because my circumstances make sense that I'm going to be thankful. It's because I trust in a God that has always come through for me, that I'm going to trust him and thank him even now moving forward. I think the way that we, if, if we have that perspective, it changes the very way that we look at life. And so if you're willing to make that commitment with this card, you can go ahead and fill out that information. If there's anything else that you need, let us know. There's all sorts of resources we want to connect you with. I, the rest of us, want to help you in whatever thing that it is you want to grow in, whether it's to find a way to, to put your purpose in, in, into action or whether it's prayer requests. But on that feedback section, you can just write time thankful. And as we sing this last song, we're going to have the baskets come around. You can just drop that in there. But before we do that, I want to just pray one last prayer before we sing. And I want to just pray that for all of you making that commitment, that God would bless that commitment as we follow him. Let's pray. God, we, we thank you. And it's not just right now. We want to make the commitment of thanksgiving. On this Thanksgiving week in 2021, God, we choose to say that we're going to be men and women who thank you, no matter what the circumstance, no matter how confusing, no matter, no matter how difficult, we are going to look at you and thank you for what we know about you, that you have given us life and hope, that you've given us purpose, and that you've given us a future. And no matter how cloudy it may be at the moment, God, we will trust in you. And we will trust in you in a very very real way. We will sing back to you. Not because it makes us feel good, but because you deserve all the praise, God. We will give back to you. Not because we, we don't need anything, but because we trust that you know everything we need and that you have always and always will provide. And God, we will continue to break bread together, to take communion together in our homes, in our small groups, in our church family, because we know what you have done. We will never forget what you did on a cross thousands of years ago that still matters to us to this very day. God, I pray for every person today who has decided that they will be thankful. God, I pray that they would that you would transform their minds in the most difficult situations, that they would see you. Lord, I pray that you would pour out your blessings on them. It's not what we expect, the way that we want blessings, but Lord, whatever you bless us with is always far greater than what we can even ask for. So God, I pray that as we experience more of you, that others around us would come and see that there is something unique about our God and that we would be filled with joy and point people back to you, our loving King, our Father. It's in your mighty name that we pray, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's stand and sing.